actually came to Disney in LA or in Anaheim many years ago when I was in elementary school, but I don't remember it. What do you think? Cute! Mrs. Class? <laughs> Like this? I think it's so cute. Okay, I think we'll put this one. Cute. Came to eat lunch at Light Lamp Lounge, I think, with this nice view behind me. The other side. <laughs> Here's the Mickey Mouse cookies and cream ice cream sandwich. Got the Christmas tree ice cream saucer. Oh wow. It's mint chocolate. It's pretty good. <laughs> I, I do like mint chocolate ice cream. Oh wait, is this mint chocolate? Or is it just mint? <laughs> just mint. <laughs> it's just mint ice cream. Walking over to see the fireworks. Just finished watching the fireworks at Disney and we're walking over to California Adventure to watch the water show at 10.30. I'm so tired, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> just kidding, there was no water show. I don't know why. So I'm just gonna go home now. Um, yeah, Disney was so fun. I think it's definitely worth going to.
Quick shout out to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. ThreadUp is an online thrift store with over 55,000 brands with up to 90% off estimated retail prices. I absolutely love thrifting on ThreadUp because you can just be chilling in bed or just on your couch just scrolling through and you can find amazing pieces. And thrifting is also economical and sustainable. I got this brand new Alexander Wong shirt. It still has the tag on it. This was originally $550 but I got it for $85.54 which is amazing because this is still brand new. I also got these shorts from J. Crew. These are also brand new with tags on. These were originally $85 but I got them for $23.99. While shopping on Threadup, you can set filters on your search like only show new with tags or like new and that's how I was able to find these items. I got these black dressy shorts from J. Crew. They were originally $57 but I got them for $13.30. I needed a pair of black shorts that I could wear to events and things like that. So I just searched up black dressy shorts on Threadup and I was able to find these at a really good price. I want to pair the black dressy shorts with this Vince cashmere sweater and I also got a Ralph Lauren cashmere sweater as well. Now that it's fall winter, I wanted to get some warm cashmere sweaters so I just searched up cashmere sweaters on ThreadUp and I was able to find these too. I also got this really cute yellow Rebecca makeup hoodie. It says sunkissed on the back. And I also got a pair of Abercrombie & Fitch white jeans. Yeah, thrifting has been really fun. Um, I also have a code for you guys. If you use Kian at checkout, you can get 30% off your first ThreadUp order. And the link is down below, so make sure to click that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed thrifting as much as I did. Okay, so I just arrived in Century City for a Lush event. I think this is the most beautiful mall I've ever been to. It is so pretty. Okay, so I'm currently in Palm Springs right now because I was supposed to be on another trip but that got cancelled last minute. So I'm just gonna quickly do my hair and get ready to go out and take some photos. It's my first time in Palm Springs. It's really beautiful. It's kind of chilly but it is December so. There's so many hummingbirds here. Like, look at it, so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. We just took some photos and we are about to head to dinner. Did a quick outfit change because it got really cold. We are currently heading to dinner. I'm really excited and I'm really hungry. It's only 4.50 and it's dark out. Parker Palm Springs for brunch at Norma's. This place is really cute. And we're about to prepare menus. Yeah, 
they give us a complimentary smoothie. Last stop of Palm Springs before we head back to LA are these um, windmills. This is like a snow-capped mountain. It's really pretty. But yeah, here are the windmills. They're not really moving, but we got some good pictures. So yeah, gonna head back to LA now. <laughs> I'm eating my emergency hepan and kim because I don't want to cook. The trip that I was supposed to go on um, that got canceled, it was actually a sponsored trip and it literally got canceled last minute. I packed my suitcase with all my stuff. I was ready to go. I was out the door with my suitcase. Although I'm very annoyed and stressed that the sponsored trip got canceled last minute, I'm, I'm trying to tell myself that there must be a bigger reason why that it happened the way that it did um, but yeah i'm just relieving stress by cleaning right now <laughs> i might even scrub my bathtub so i can take a bath with the lush products that i got but i'm grateful that i got to go to palm springs i realized that there's so many places in california that i want to visit like san diego joshua tree malibu there's just like so many like naturey places that I want to see and experience. When I was making this changgeji, these are serrano peppers and I didn't wear gloves while I was chopping these up and my hands were burning the entire night. It literally feels like you're holding a metal burning ball. It's like this inexplicable excruciating pain. Yeah, no, it was actually, it was, it was horrible. I tried all the home remedies at like 3, 4 in the morning because I couldn't sleep. I tried everything, but the pain wouldn't go down. So now, lesson learned to never cut peppers with bare hands. It was my first time having a lush bubble bath and wow, it was really nice. Before I finish the vlog, I want to share some of my skincare, hair care favorites. My all-time faves these days, the Paula's Choice Exfoliant and the Ordinary's um, Face Mask. These two help with sebum control. So I had a lot of like little bumps on my 
forehead especially. Back in Korea, I would regularly go to the skincare clinic and I would get my face exfoliated and cleaned out but skincare clinics aren't as accessible in America so I wanted some products that help my skin exfoliate and Honestly, these two have cleared up my face so much. I'm already on my second bottle of this one and a second tube of this one. I've been loving these products by Maison. This is the serum and these are eye gel patches. This is also my second bottle of this one. I've also been using Maison's cream. I've been loving their snail line, so yeah. At the end of my nighttime skincare routine, I usually use one of these devices by Medicube. I rarely use this one, um, but I've been using these two. And I use these probably several times a week. For hair, I've been using these two treatment bottles. This one is by Bobo's Remy and I actually finished this bottle so I'm back to using my Medicube one. I feel like this one really helps your hair grow a little bit and I love how it feels in my hair. It's kind of minty and fresh and it just feels amazing. I've been using my Medicube shampoo as usual. Love it. This is my go-to. I've been using the Bobo's Remy Argan Oil. I use this after showers on damp hair and I use it after I curl my hair to keep the curls in. Alrighty, I'm gonna wash up now and end this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to click the thread up link down below. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!